YouTube fam. So I wanted to come on and share with you guys everything that I picked up from Shein today. So here's my first shipment. I am waiting on um, three more items. This is a total of 18 items. But if you guys would like to see what I have in these packages and view my try on haul, please keep watching. So to start this off, I ordered a three pack of some sports tops and the colors are going to be gray, white, and black. So here I am just showing how the gray tank top looks. Um, as you all can see, it is a racer back, so you would need to wear a bra that does not have straps. But this is the bra I have on today, so I just decided to keep it on. Um, but yeah, the quality is, you know, pretty good on these. It's not super thick, but it's a good quality. And um, it does kind of show your midsection area. Um, so, of course, I had to, like, pull that down. But this is the first tank top. I like the way it, like, you know, curves and hugs the neck. And like, like I said, the material is a little thin, but it's, it's pretty good material. So, just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this gray tank top. I love it. And here we have the black tank top in the same three pack. So same cut, same style, just the black color. I like the way it hugs the breast area. And like I said, it hugs the neck and the way it lays, so. And lastly, for that pack, we have the white one. And again, just emphasizing if you're like short waisted these are not the tank top to go with but i like them i'll just make sure i wear like high-waisted pants and um yeah i think this was a great purchase Next we have this sports bra. It's like a maroon color with white piping and also black. On first impression, it seemed like it was pretty good quality. I love the thick bra straps. Even though if I wear this, it will go under a shirt. I won't be wearing it, you know, like solely on its own as a top. Good material. Got some nice little pull to it. Zipper in the front. Let's try it on. So I have it tried on. Um, I have to go ahead and admit offhand, um, good back coverage as far as the width of the bra. Something I'm not crazy about is like these lines, the way like the padding like lays in the bra and the extra material on the front. It just kind of feels frumpy and it sticks up. So it's like extra material in the front. So I'm not really crazy about that, but I think it should hopefully be okay under a shirt. But yeah, it looks weird. So here's the screenshots of the items that um, I purchased that I'm showing on this haul today. Please feel free to stop, pause, screenshot. It was a total of 21 items that I ordered. But yeah, it has the descriptions of the items so you can look those items up on Shein if you're thinking about ordering, you know, any of the items that I got. So now we're um, looking at this two-piece silk pajamas set. Um, it is in a plus size 2XL. Most of the things I have are in like extra large 2XL and things like that. So this is definitely a plus size haul. Um, pretty good quality, you know, especially for the price. I love the white piping on the pajamas. Looks a little sleek. I'm not really usually one to wear shorts, but I wanted to give this a try. Yep, nice white piping again, even on the sleeves. I like that detail. I like the way it lays on my neck. Nice little white buttons. These shorts have a um, elastic band in them, so it really gives for the big thigh girls like myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels really good on have the packaging. So here I'm just showing some additional um, items that I have. Um, and like kind of what they look like in the packaging. I absolutely love the Shein packaging. So we've got to give a thumbs up for that. But yeah, I'll go ahead and make sure I get these items tried on next. So you guys can see how they look on. Super good quality though. I just have to give, like I said, a shout out to the packaging. Because it's just good. Okay. 
Next, we have some brown strappy leather inspired sandals. Obviously, they're not real leather, but they're leather inspired. I really love the quality of this piping around these sandals. It's nicely done. That's a little scuff, but it's definitely not a big deal at all. The quality is definitely there. I have to admit, these are extremely comfy, y'all. Um, the quality is good. I currently need a pedicure, so I'm not going to show my feet actually in these. But um, yeah, you guys, I definitely did try these on, and they feel amazing. So once I get a pedicure, you know, I will be rocking these. But they just look good inside and out, every part of them. Here's some items that I also got some like personality glasses that I just wanted to show you guys. I will show you all what they look like here shortly, but they're um, lined in black with they're like clear glasses lined in black. Um, you know, they do look nice on, but they feel like they're reading glasses because maybe it's just that I didn't have my contacts on. And maybe it's because they had maybe a few little smudges on them, but I kept feeling like like they had prescription in them. It was the weirdest thing. I will have to try them on again when I have my contacts in and just clean them, make sure they're super clean, and hopefully they won't feel weird on my eyes. But like I said, they felt like they had something in them strength-wise, but I really loved the way that they looked on. Next, I'm just showing this like sticky gel stuff that you can use to clean off the dust or debris like on the interior of your car or it can be used on keyboards and things like that. Um, I do think it did a great job with picking up little pieces of like dust and things like that. I had already dusted the, um, the front dashboard, but here's me getting a few crumbs off this area of my steering wheel column and it is picking it up like little dust and crumbs. And it works really well for these type areas. It didn't look like it got all the way down in that crack and crevice. But I'm still satisfied with the little surface dust that it picked up in the hard to reach areas. So for the cost, I would recommend this little ooey gooey sticky thing to get little pieces of dust off. Here we have tattoos and I'm just showing you guys how a couple of the tattoos looked on my daughter and I's hands after we applied them. Here's another cool music inspired shirt that I picked up. I thought it was awesome how it just had like a generic song name and artist name, but to like represent like a music player. Super cool. Item. I was actually getting ready to head out the house and I'm like, oh my god, I need to show this shirt. Um, so this is obviously also from Shein and it's a made in the 80s t-shirt. Brown with the retro type colors. So there's that. I'm still rocking my tattoo. It is starting to fade. It's a couple of days later. And um, I have on some like little piece earrings from Walmart. I just wanted to show those because I think it's totally befitting for the occasion for this made in the 80s t-shirt. <laughs> Super comfy and it feels like high quality. So I love it. This next two piece set was kind of the reason that I even went on Shein in the first place to begin to place an order. Um, I saw another vlogger um, named Trof Trophy Life and she had a brown two-piece short set that she had got off Shein and I was like, I want something chocolate brown to wear. So yeah, I picked up this two-piece set. As you guys can tell, it is thin. Alrighty, you guys. So I'm gonna show the next few items that I just took out of the packaging and I, then I will also show like me actually taking these items and putting, you know, some clothing garments in them. Um, but the first thing I got is this three-piece um, organizer. Um, it's kind of collapsed here because it's been like, shipped <laughs> but as you guys can see it has multiple like elongated um compartments on it and so there's one that's considered to be large and then it comes with two small like little um you know dividers for like socks and like undergarments like bras or panties so that's what i'm going to use those for and like i said i'll show some video of that and then i have one that's a little larger Here's that. This one is supposed to be for like towels or it could be for clothes or shirts, you know, whichever you choose to, you know, make it for. But yeah, I'll show you guys what both of these um, items look like once I set them up. 
All right, you guys, so I got these um, little organizers set up. I did already have these. Um, I didn't get these from Shein, but I mean, it's in the drawer, so I'm just gonna show you. But yeah, in this one, I just have like my stockings and things like that. And in this one, I just have like miscellaneous, these like little soft strip things to help protect your feet and heels. And some of those like bra strap extender things. And lastly, some of these like little um, bra clips, like if you have on like a, a top that like you don't want your bra to show, you can hook your bra straps into those. So that's just what's in there. Um, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, I have to admit that, but it's thin, like, so what did I expect? You know what I'm saying? I feel like for the amount I paid and for what I wanted, which is just not for all my items to be just thrown in the drawer all mixed together, socks, bras, panties, and all of that, it's serving its purpose. So um, as you guys can see in this one, I just have, oh, I didn't use the front pouch, but this is all the bras I have for now. I need to order some more bras. But yeah, for um, now, I just have some, a lot of my sports bras and some of my regular bras here in this. And again, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing because it's real thin. So, you know, and then for the socks, um, again, not aesthetically pleasing, but it did organize it. So I have like my socks here. The super big fuzzy pair actually broke the little connector strap when I stuck that in there. So I guess it was too bulky. But yeah, you guys, that's what that looks like. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it because this is just reeking like it'll do for now. But then at some point, I'm going to have to like get something a little bit more sturdy so that, you know, it looks a little better when I open my drawer. But I at least just wanted to show you guys what those organizers um, look like. So here's how this looks, you guys. Honestly, it's so flimsy it, and I got a lot in here. So it's partially my fault, but this is what I decided to do with this um, case. I had a lot of pillowcases to my sheet sets and stuff that were just in between like the flat sheet and the fitted sheet. And they were like all at the top of my linen closet and just looking really messy. So as a temporary fix, again, at this point, I'm not recommending these They're so flimsy. But as a temporary fix, I just put all the pillowcases to most of my sheet sets. I do have a couple of more pillowcase sets for like our um, guest bedroom, um, our master bedroom, and I got another sheet set that's packed for a trip that's coming up to go on our air mattress. But anywho, most of the pillowcases are in here. It is jam packed. This is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna show you guys the final product of this in my, um, my linen closet. Just, again, it's not so aesthetic, but it does at least look put together when I show you another piece I already have up there. So here's how it looks at the top. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend this because it's extremely flimsy, but just to kind of like neaten up that top area, this will do for now. Those sheets are not exposed. Like I said, I used to have sheets, fitted sheets, flat sheets, pillowcases just stacked up here. And it got to a point where it was so many, they just looked a mess. So just to make it a little, um, you know, more presentable, I think this will do for now. But again, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give this product a thumbs down only because it's super flimsy, but it is cheap. So it's like, what do you guys expect? So, you know, there's my review on that. All right, you guys, so for this next item, I didn't want to try this on. Obviously, it's like a panty and bra set um, with like a shaper panty. But yeah, I picked this up from Shein as well. So it's just like a black shaper panty and a black bra. And it kind of has almost like satin type like accents here on the lining. But it's very thick and it feels like it's very great quality. So I want to also make sure I included that in the try on haul this shirt has a total vibe it says i match energy so how we gonna act today <laughs> i love it you guys like no further explanation needed you talk to me i can talk to you if you got an attitude i'm probably not gonna be fooling with you but yeah i absolutely love this t-shirt i think for a smaller frame person it would be um really cute too if it was like tied up at the top but i'm pairing it with these um uh, pants that I also got from Shein. I absolutely love this pattern. Um, these look really sexy on. So just also wanted to go ahead and try these on and show you guys how they look. But yeah, like that try pattern. Like the, I always get cheetah and leopard confused, but like that cheetah, leopard, whatever it is, the stripes and the solid at the bottom, it's a win. And yeah, I match energy. I'm happy. These um, gray pants came from Shein. I absolutely love the pattern on them. 
obviously i would not be wearing it like this to the gym i would have on like a normal workout top or t-shirt but i just wanted to make sure i showed you guys how these pants looked because they're like high-waisted and make sure that you guys could see all the patterns of the pants so i just put on a regular bra but these are booty dishes they're sexy i love the charcoal accents on these pants Oh, you guys coming in hot the girl loves this camouflage um like print set of pants oh my gosh it's just so cute and sexy to me when i saw this online i was like must have to be set now as i stated i'm a plus size girl so i would not be wearing it just like this to the gym i would have on some type of top over this red you know top so it wouldn't look like this if i wore it to the gym but it is super sexy you guys oh my god i love it it feels so good on and even though i got a little fupa mm, oh well <laughs> i still feel super sexy in this and the way it hugs the bum cute can't nobody tell me nothing i'm super cute in this the material is absolutely amazing And for the final item that we have, this is like a um, bug shield like thing for your door. Um, I thought I was going to have time to get this put up, but I don't. And I really need to get this video out. And so I see that it comes with some thumbtacks. I hope that's for reinforcement. I hope that I read this right and that this is like like a tape like type strip. It looks like it is the sticky once you take this off. But this is just gonna go over our door downstairs. Off initial feel, it feels kind of cheap. I'm not gonna lie. But again, for the cost, what do you expect? Looks like this little Vel Velcro strip, not Velcro, you guys. It looks like whatever material this is, this right here, the stripping, the sticky attaches to that, and it covers, you know, your door. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of how it's supposed to look once we do decide to install it. Um, this will be a picture from the Shein website. But yeah, you guys, this is my last item. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Shein haul. I sure did. I'm going to really enjoy all the items I get. I definitely think this is my favorite. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and please share with somebody that you think could benefit off getting some of these products off of Shein. I mean, let's admit it, it's Shein. They get the things here super quick to the United States. And I mean, the quality overall is good. There are some things that are a bust. But again, you guys, for the price that you're paying, what do you expect? So overall, I am satisfied. And yeah, I will continue to uh, shop on Shein. And I also eventually am going to try Timu too. So why not? All right, you guys, wherever you are, be blessed. Take care. Bye.